to support this channel we really would value if you liked the video if it was enjoyable or found any value in it that you shared it across as many platforms as possible where it would be relevant for other people and also if you're on your journey for learning to trade better that you click in the links below to receive your free mini series where we've recorded really tight good quality content in a great setting with awesome video to give you a bit of a basing and a grounding in terms of how you can become a better trader those links all in the bottom of the youtube description we appreciate you doing that uh, it supports and sustains us and allows us to record more often thank you for your help i appreciate it enjoy the video Hey guys, Crypto Sniper here. Yep. Um, so that's a little bit of a view of uh, our analysis. Um, so we had structure here. We were looking for it to go really scratchy. Key level of significance at the 8000 mark. Intersecting with our grind line, doing this little bit of antsy antsy pantsy tiny just before it dovetailed over um, so that's a reassertment to the downside for bitcoin it's not epic it's not huge it's not as big as the original move um, and it's losing momentum overall on the downside it's tapping its way lower um, but the break is to the down uh, remember in terms of the overall scenario at the macro level that i'm giving you it's this That's what I'm giving you. Everyone else is doing this on the big level. I'm saying it's this. So what happens is the down leg starts being less brutal, more moderated and more moderated and more boring. They go down a certain amount and then they pause for long periods and churn and mess around. Um, so this is going to genuinely become a less volatile instrument. Remember what I've said a number of times in this bigger macro picture. We will, we've had the 20k there. You've had your 3.2k there. Those are your big swings. You then had a fairly big swing. It has to be said at 13.9 up top there. Inside my macro positioning now, we're looking for, we've had a decent sell off. That's this here. That's essentially this leg here and what else comes with it, which is the sell off now. Um, we're looking for a little bit more out of it and then you know whether it's 5k or 6.8 6.8 or 5 we're going to base out there and we're going to get there less emphatically less single-mindedly you're going to have to be patient and then the increase that will then come who knows how it'll come but it'll be less spectacular than the 3.2 run to the 13.9. Look, it'll still be fun if you can run from 6 or 7, 6.8, maybe 5, all the way up to 10K levels. Um, it's a couple of thousand. Um, but it's not going to feel like the 3.2 to 13.9. Of course it can't. That's 10,000. Um, so overall, in between these legs... They're, they're going to be less single-minded, less super pump, less mega spill, and more bits and staircasing along. And I think this particular break is quite indicative of exactly what we've been um, suggesting is coming. It's, it's moderate. Uh, you know, you've let go of the 8K level, you've traded 7.4, so you had $600. It's a decent move, you know, 600 on uh, over 800, that would be 7.5%. Um, but in terms of the cryptos that of past, where you were getting quadrupling and halving and all of that, this is not going to be the ever. This is going to be the cunning traders period. And for most that don't have a macro view and don't have a macro model and don't have a longer term plan, the more trading they do, the more they're going to destroy their account. Uh, that almost be better and I never recommend a hodl but for this period which is going to be churny and lower volatility um, with reasonable moves but at specific moments I mean if you chase the sell now you're going to get a hammer rally coming straight back at you it could come all the way up to here um, so it's not for chasers it's not for the momentum chasers if you don't have some form of template for which is getting you into the trade before um, it's not a good market for you it's not a good market. Either go educate uh, and learn some skill sets or hodl your way through this period. Um, that's my general advice. Uh, I'm not 
an advisor. So this is not really advice, but that would be my view for what it's worth. Um, but yeah, so downside also cautioned on Ethereum, all of them. So it's no different. Uh, for ETH, we had again, we drew this, we were expecting this fairly soon on the ETH side as well. I'll bring that one up. You can see how it was set up and there you go. It slipped. I gave that in a loom to the guys for shorts as well. Over here. So again, also in the falling wedge, I've done a bit on this, I think on YouTube, uh, liable to push lower, liable to push lower for a bit, but less and less so. And it is in a falling wedge and at some, to, at some point it's going to get a bit up again. And that will probably be the beginning of the end of that uh, Bitcoin down leg because all of them will probably be moving up together. Um, Bitcoin still permissions a hell of a lot. There's not that great level of divergence. You will get relative underperformances and overperformances, but generally um, they're highly correlated. Um, okay, uh, that's my take. And now you have it. Now you've seen it. And we'll see. We'll see if the Bitcoin um, makes it 6831 as we anticipate. It's now not particularly far away. You've got to remember that call was made uh, 10,400s, 10,200s, 10,100s. We had an aggregated overall short uh, position when it first spilled well over uh, 10,000 when we put that on and we were looking for 6831 and, and for the reasons I've highlighted this is not an overnight uh, trade to target and it's got absolutely plenty of time because the entire the whole structure took a long period in formation as well so we're at 7.5 um, we're only $700 away from the original target uh, for shorts that were taken uh, 10,100 aggregate value somewhere at twos and threes somewhere just approaching the 10k uh, level um, so that's pretty good it's $2,500 into the money um, with only 600 more to come um, I did close uh, when I went away and we re re-entered re and uh, just at the perfect time so a bit lucky but also we have the pat we we have the the model to do that anyway what i need you to do hit the likes and shares please and the mini series is in the bottom book a call if you want to know how to do this guys have guys have paid for the annual fees into god knows 20 whatever with the trades just from today um you should and could be accumulating bitcoin right now for what I think will be the super move to come. And in the meantime, you're going to be bored to death and you're going to burn Bitcoin trying to trade a slowing, lowering volatility market unless you have the macro, unless you have a plan, unless you continue to execute on it if it's continuing to be affirmed. And at any point we are incorrect and it starts to diverge, um, we recast. Uh, and that's in the nature of the game. It's just a feedback mechanism of market. It's not like you're right. You're not you don't you don't get right once and stay right forever. It's an ongoing feedback mechanism. You fall out of sync with it um, and you readjust and that's the nature of the game. Um, okay, good. I uh, hope you enjoy the clip and uh, share and like and grab your mini series and also book a call if you're ready, if you feel ready. Um, there's options. We've done a six month option, which is lower, lower level as well. You can find out about that uh, in the call with a qualified. This isn't with a sales rep, guys. We don't have sales reps. This is with a qualified, trusted and trained by me individual that has been trading HVF method for a minimum of two years uh, and is very capable in executing of it and tell you exactly his experience. And you can ask them. I don't even get involved uh, person to person. Of course, I think it's the best thing since sliced bread. I would say that. But I'm also seeing it. Listen to what other people have to say. Okay, end of pitch. Sorry for that. But I know you have to, you have to do it sometimes. Um, catch you on the other side and we'll update you later. All the best. Trade small. Um, and let's see if we make our 6830.